Hello folks, Nile Creek Fly Shop here. I'm going to tie a tube fly for some friends of mine in Eastern Canada in Ontario. And I'm going to be using marabou, some uh, palmer chenille, um, trilobal chenille. I'm going to use some um, flat braid, jungle cock on the tube, the Canadian tube fly, micro tube. Uh, so let's get this done, a little bit of flash. I'm going to do it in a hurry. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. I want to show everybody how efficient a tube fly can be. So I'm going to tie a little bump at the back end. Trim that off. Now, I'm just going to wrap it so I create a little bump. You can use ostrich for this. You can use lots of different things. You can do a dubbing. You can do a dubbing... Uh, loop if you want. I'm pulling those fibers back. There, nice little bump. Nothing nothing crazy. The nano silk's going to pull that down real nicely. I just want it there for accent. And in front of it, I'm going to use my flat braid. I'm going to finish the fly off with a blue off the shelf quarter inch bead. I'm not going to dress or wrap anything on this uh, braid. You don't have to. Let's get that right down there. Now, I like the nano silk because it just, well, it just ties it down so nicely. It's very, very strong. You can use a brighter color under here, but the marabou is going to give this fly an awful lot of color. So it's really not that much other than just giving it a little bit of flash in behind the body here. And the colors that I'm using are going to be from the red color wheel, from that purple, a real, real bright orange. Now. I want to create a bump here, so I'm going to use my trilobal Palmer chenille. It's trilobal, so it's quite big, as you'll see. Pull my fibers back. There we are. Pull my fibers back. There. Now you can see that nice bump forming. I want that bump there for the marabou. There we are. This is going to be a really, really nice fly. Steelhead pattern. And the nano silk will just force that material. And I can really pull down on, on that if I want. There. Now, I'm going to start with an orange marabou feather. I've already trimmed it. And if you notice, I like tying in from the stem. So I, I'll always grab my stem and when it starts to bend like that, that's where I will strip my fibers off. If you, if you tie it and then too, too far down on the stem, it's too stiff and you will never get it to wrap. Again, nano silk, beautiful stuff. my fingers. There we are. I really like marabou. It just gives an accent, movement. It's just pretty nice stuff, but you don't want too much. If you put too much on, it becomes like a towel and it weighs it down. Take my brush. I want to brush a bit of that out. You could actually, at this point, you could actually put a little bit of uh, whip finish there if you wanted to. There we are. That's the orange. Now let's get to the real sexy stuff. The purple. Same deal with the purple. I'm going to lock it down. 
really really strong take my vein come in the other side of it come back over so it's really locked in now it's, that, that vein won't won't uh, change directions just a couple of nice little little wraps nothing too much oh yeah I love these color combinations There, no more than that. That's plenty. You don't want a dish towel. Underwater, this thing is just really, really got a lot of movement, a lot of color, gets a lot of attention. And I am going to finish it off, surprisingly, with a bead and not a cone. Most people use cones to finish it off because they don't know that you can actually use a bead here because this tube is small enough. My my beads want to slide right on. Now, uh, a little bit of flash, purple, purple hue to it. Spread it out a little. around the bottom there pretty neat now I'm going to put on some pink grizzly saddle tips one Two, three, and one more. Stick on a little jungle cock here in a minute. What do you think, folks? Adds a bit, don't you think? A jungle cock just finishes it off so nicely. Now, I'm going to make sure that's in the right. You could put some super glue here now. I'm going to. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of Palmer chenille on the front. And there's a reason for that. Because if you notice the fly, if you notice the fly, it has a bare spot. And my the bead may not cover it. So I'm going to just gingerly. I don't want to hide the beauty of the of the jungle clock. There we are. Again, 
the beauty of using this nano silk is that I can really lock my material in. That is a very, very, very nice fly. You know, if modern times everybody's calling color wheel this and color wheel that and all that silly stuff. But color blends, amazing. Let's see, one more. Done. Now let's get this bead. Put a little super glue here again on this. Now I'm going to put a metallic blue bead on here. And my tube fly will be done once I have it melted on. Gotta make sure your pin is there. There we go. And there you go. One very, very, very efficient and sexy, if you can call a fly sexy, two fly.